Hey awesome fifth graders and families. Um, I just thought I'd give you a quick tutorial about Homelink 1.7 and this is about a new topic that we just talked about today, finding volume using cubes. So let me show you the way that I showed your students today, that way they can do it like that at home. So we first need to figure out our length, our width, and the height of each of the cubes if they were going all the way across. So I told them to think about if these were slid over to the side or if you were just counting one side as if you were looking at it. So our width is going to be one, two, three, four, five. I told them go ahead and label each of those. So our width is five. Our length, if this slid here, would be one, two, three, because we're looking at just this side. So there's our length. And then our height, they made it kind of easy for us in the corner, would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our height is seven. So now we're going to multiply these. We're going to multiply our length times our width, four times five and then times the height. And this is going to tell us how many cubes it would take to fill up our whole first layer. And then we would multiply it by the height to tell us how many we would have in all. I told them the truth is it does not matter which order you multiply these in. So we're going to do whatever's easiest for me. I'm going to do 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 7, I know I can do 2 times 7 is 14. Got my 0. 140. So that means it took 140 cubes to fill this prism, which also means that the volume is 140 cubic units. I hope that helps. As always, have students do their very best for 15 to 20 minutes, and then if they still are having trouble, just call it a night and we will work on it tomorrow. So thanks so much for all you do for your kids. Have an awesome night.